What's up you guys, it's your girl Samantha. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, I finally, finally, finally reviewed the Fenty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm late, I know, I know you guys, but better late than never, right? So I actually reviewed three of the um, powder foundations, as I was saying. I reviewed the 430, 410, and 420. I'm sure by now you guys know what they look like, but this is what it looks like. But before we get into that, definitely make sure that you are subscribed and hit that notification bell so you know when I post new videos. But yeah, you guys, let's just hop right into this video. Okay, so um, just a little housekeeping for starters. I just felt like I had to get this. I don't know what it is about Fenty, but it just seems like everything that she drops, I end up picking up. <laughs> I did watch a few reviews and I was surprised at how great it looked but because I have eczema prone skin I wasn't really sure if it would look the greatest on me but as you guys can see um, it looks really cute. The foundation was $46 Canadian so it is a bit on the pricier side. I mean for Fenty I really did believe that the quality was going to be there so I did go ahead and purchase them. So they said that this is like a game-changing foundation. It's light as air, it has no flashback. It's supposed to blur your skin. It's sweat, humidity, and crease-proof, crease-resistant, I should say. Um, it's buildable coverage. It's buildable from light to full coverage. And um, it says it won't settle into fine lines. It doesn't clog pores or cake up. And it reduces the appearance of shine, it's chic, and it has a portable powder compact that fits in your hand. So it's definitely super chic. The only con that I, like some of the cons that I will say is that um, they do get really dirty easily because it's an all white packaging and the brush doesn't really stay in. Um, I don't know if you guys watch my Sephora haul, but I did go ahead and pick up three of the Fenty um, Soft Matte Powder Foundations because I know there was some discrepancy between the colors corresponding to the liquid foundation. So I went ahead and picked up 4, 410, 430, and um, 420 as well. So this is what the packaging looks like. Let's go ahead and open it up. I did um, swatch them. <laughs> I did swatch them pre prior to this video. They, that's why they look a little bit messy, but this is what the packaging looks like, you guys. It's very sleek, very beautiful, very on trend with what Fenty does. So that's what that looks like. So typically my color in the Fenty fo liquid foundation is 430 in the winter time and 440 when I get tanned. So let me try my best to hold these up for you. So, so here, this one right here is 430. This is 420, and this is 410. So I am going to do a little swatch test for you guys. Let's go ahead and swatch 430. And I'm just gonna put that on my skin right here. And let me just go on the website and see what 430 is saying it is. Okay, so 430 says that it's deep with warm golden undertones. So let's go ahead and swatch 420. So on the website, 420 says medium deep with warm golden undertones. So yeah, so that's what 420 is looking like. So on the website, 410 says medium deep with warm golden undertones. So the website pretty much describes them with warm golden undertones so that's why it was kind of tough for me to figure out which color I would be. Let's see what this is looking like. I'm just gonna... So this is for... Um, this is 430, this is 420, and this is 410. I really do think that 410 would be my color but I also don't want to feel washed out. I think 430 is a little bit too dark, but 420 looks too red. I'm thinking of going with 410, but I'm just gonna use the sponge quickly to see if... 
Oh, this is actually really nice. So that's 410. This actually blurred out my skin a lot. I want to just see how 420 looks because I definitely think 430 is going to be a little bit too dark. So. That's how 420 looks like. But it's definitely giving me more warm ish vibes. So, in my opinion, I would say that 410 blends better with the rest of my skin. So, let's go ahead and use 410 and see what happens. Alright, so we are set and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and grab the Fenty primer because I don't want to put this and of course my lashes are coming off. Let's go ahead and fix my lashes before I fix anything else because otherwise it's not going to look cute. Okay, so hopefully that stays on. So I'm just grabbing my Fenty primer and I'm going to put that all over my skin. So before I start anything, I do want to get rid of these marks. So I'm going to go ahead with my Fenty Concealer in the color 430. And that's pretty much my regular skin tone color. And I'm just going to blur these out. I'm just taking my beauty sponge. And I'm just blending this out. I hope this actually works for my skin, especially because I have eczema prone skin. So I just don't want it to look like really cakey. So I really hope that. And lately I've gotten eczema underneath my lip, which has been really frustrating for me. But I'm just trying to accept it and keep it moving because. There's not really much that I can do about it. Because I don't want to mix liquid on top of the powder, I'm going to go ahead and do my highlighting first. So I'm going to go in with my, if I can find it, <laughs> my Fenty Concealer. This time in the color 490. And I'm just going to put this all over the areas that I would regularly um, highlight my face. I don't want to let it dry down too much, so I'm not going to give it too, too much time to dry. Oh, and if you haven't noticed, I did go ahead and um, I did go ahead and flat iron my hair. Um, it's not as flat as I want it to be, but after this video, I am going to go ahead and um, fix it up for you guys. And yes, I do have a video on that, so definitely make sure you watch that when that video comes out. But um, let me not get off track too much because you guys know I can't stay focused. So <laughs> I'm going to re-wet my beauty blender and then I'm just going to blend this out. Okay, so to brighten up using my Juvia's Place um, Eye Magic Concealer in the color 12. Okay, so that's been it out. Before that creases, let's go ahead and use my Fenty Powder to just, you know, get this set. So I'm using the Fenty powder in the color Honey. I'm just going to dip that in there. Set these under eyes first because we don't want no old lady creasing. But because I'm adding powder, I don't want to leave this on for too, too long. So I'm going to go ahead and get a brush and just wipe this all off.
and now for the exciting part you guys we are gonna go in with 410 and see what happens so I really never use these kind of sponges but just for the sake of the video let's see what you know what happens So it's blurring out my skin pretty nicely and I think this color is actually the best color for me to use. I'm already annoyed with this brush so I'm going to go switch to another brush just so that I can do what I normally do because I would never really use this brush. So I'm going to try using this Morphe brush. I'm not sure the number but I'm just going to dip into that and start applying it to my skin. And as you can see, I'm just kind of like marrying where I put the concealer so that there's no harsh lines. But I really like it, you guys. I definitely like it much better with this brush because that whole sponge situation was not working out for me. So I'm just I'm just gonna continue adding it. Okay, so I haven't done a whole lot of blending, but I'm shook. <laughs> I feel so snatched right now. What? So this is the side that I have already added the foundation on and I feel like I just have this flawless airbrushed look. I don't know how it looks, how it's translating on camera, but I am looking in the mirror right now and I'm really not mad at this. The only thing I'm not really used to is like adding my found my concealer first. So I don't I want to make sure that like I'm not missing spots I like you know what I mean I am I'm, I'm really 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 shook right now so yeah <laughs> I, I don't even have words you guys like this is crazy this is with foundation and this is without with just a little bit of um spot concealing but like this side has absolutely no foundation and this is the side with foundation <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and continue the rest of my face and see what we come up with I'm here for this. <laughs> it's like this looks so good. Um, let me just I'm just gonna tie up my hair so you guys can just see what we're looking like. Cause this is giving me this is giving me life. <laughs> I'm not going to do any cream contour or bronzer. I'm actually just going to go ahead with my Mocha Mami bronzer by Fenty, of course. Clearly, we're doing an all Fenty face today. So I'm just going to dip into this. And then just give my face some color. So I think I've done enough bronzing. I do need to fix my nose contour. And for that, I'm gonna go back in with the um, Mocha Mami. And I'm just going to sculpt this out. I'm 
just gonna have to figure this out because <laughs> your girl did way too much and let's just try and blend this out. So for blush, I'm using the Saharan Blush Palette Volume 1 from um, Juvia's Place and I'm also using a Juvia's Place blush brush to apply it. And the color I use, I believe, was Neo and this just gave me a nice flush color on my cheeks. I didn't add too much. Next, I'm just going in with my Morphe Setting Spray, letting this dry down and y'all gonna see this magic. Okay, so I think for the most part, I'm pretty dried down. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over my face with my beauty blender and just to basically blend everything nice and seamlessly and pat down any of the mist and that is still sitting on my face. So the highlight I'm using is from Juvia's Place. Just highlighting my cute as well. my nose we're doing too much again Rayan we're do we're you're really doing too much the bridge of my nose and I'm just gonna take this Morphe 501 brush and dust my cheeks Too much going on here so I'm just gonna take my foundation brush and try and mute this a little bit there we go so I'm gonna go finish my hair and my put on some lips and I will come back to you guys with the finished product okay so this is the final look of the Fenty soft matte foundation and I just need you guys to know that it's bomb like I don't have any words I don't have and yeah, I don't have a whole bunch of long talking. I, I'm sold. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you haven't already, definitely make sure that you're subscribed. And comment down below if you've tried this foundation and you like it. Or let me know if you think you're going to try it after this video. But for now, I'm going to say toodles. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.